again, everybody. It's Todd Starooch, the horror nerd here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival. It's Saturday, the second day of the convention. We have been rocking and rolling all day. It's been amazing how busy it is. I have had a chance to talk to so many awesome celebrity guests. And the trend continues because I have the pleasure of sitting here with Mr. Chance Michael Corbett. Chance, how are you? Good afternoon. I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I am doing great. Good, good. So good. how's the show been for you so you far? You know, it's fantastic. So it's been about four years since I've actually been out to a convention. This is the first one, and it was the right one to come to. I mean, it was, it's, it's been a blast. I love I love specifically coming to New Jersey because the folks here are, are just truly amazing. Yeah, I love it. I love hearing good things about New Jersey. That's right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from here. I'm like, yes, New Jersey's cool. Right. It's funny. New Jersey's one of those states where if we're from here, we can bash it all day long, but you better not say anything bad That's about exactly New right. right. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. No, but it's been good. It's been really good. 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 So, um... The Lost Boys, what I, you know, I've had the pleasure of meeting several of your castmates here this weekend, which mm -hmm. is amazing. And I'm going to ask you your, your feelings on this, the same I've been asking them. Sure. Yeah. When you were making the movie, did you have any inkling that you were making something that would have the longevity and, and fandom and staying power that this movie has? N no, I didn't. Uh, I'm not sure that really anybody did. I mean, I knew that it was it was special i mean even you know i was i was telling a few folks today that you know out of all the things that i've done you know looking back on that memorable summer it was unlike anything i'd ever done um and i think that was a, a testament to joel and you know kind of what he created on the set i was sharing with with, with somebody earlier that you know jameson my, I mean, most of us, it was our first thing that we had ever done. And the first scene that I had ever done was the scene where, you know, Jason and Corey are running back from the vampires and we're standing out front. Please, you know, get inside, get inside. It was the first thing I'd ever done. And what was funny was, it was a very serious scene. It was, you, you know, you should look panicked. And, you know... My first scene, literally anything I'd ever done, as we came in, we're laughing, you know, and if you kind of look, go look at the film again, you'll see us kind of smiling. And instead of Joel, you know, reprimanding us and saying, you know, kind of, can I curse on this? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Kind of get your shit together. Yeah. Uh, he didn't. He let us run with sort of that energy that we had. Um, and that's that was really cool, especially for, you know, a Green Pea rookie actor to have that sort of empowering, you know, sort of play. Um, awesome experience. And maybe that's why, you know, plus, you know, great actors, awesome scripts, you know, has all the elements, which is why, you know, 35 years later, I'm, I'm still able to sit here and have this awesome conversation with you. So, um, but I, I, you know, long story short to your, your question, I don't think anybody saw it, but I certainly, in retrospect, could see it now. Be just remembering the, the feeling that we had on the set. Cool. That is a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Do you have a favorite um, moment or story or anecdote from the set that really sticks in your mind? Well, you know, it's, I don't know if it's my favorite moment, but it is, it's a moment. It's my scene when I, when I, I come out of the bed, big laddie scene where he, uh, he, uh, <laughs> you got fans. Photo bomb, I you do. got fans. I have a fan. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> so when I come out of the bed, um, if you go back and look, you know, we, it's pretty simple in, in, in the thought, you know, some bed sheets, some confetti, air compressor, you come out, scream, done. Well, we did one take. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I got scared. I wouldn't go back in, you know, and Joel didn't make me, you know, uh, I just, I couldn't go back in. Um, so Larry, you know, who's a, a grown man, but my size, man, really did like five or six of those takes. They meshed it in. So, uh, it, you know, it, it's just interesting, you know, as I look back, it's kind of, it's a little silly because of what it's air compressed, but it was, you know, and he didn't make me go back in. You know, he said, if he's, he's scared, he doesn't want to go in, he's not going back in. So let's, we'll work around it. And he was, you know, they edited perfectly and, and 
you really can't tell. So there's the story. There we go. <laughs> you know, there's the I story. love behind the scenes stuff. It was cool. Like that little anecdotes. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Now, Chance, you were in another uh, very well-known horror movie. Yeah. That's another one of, um, one of my personal favorites. Is sure. Head. Yep. So is, is horror something you've always been interested in? Or was it like, well, this is a job. I mean, it's an audition. It's a job. No. So what you happened know? was right after the Lost Boys, um, you know, the, the door kind of doesn't open. It, it kind of slams open for opportunities to go out for everything. You know, I, 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 was a re I had a reoccurring role in Baywatch. I had a reoccurring role in Major Dad. And um, I would just audition for anything. You know, my actors act. That's what my dad said. Yeah. Like, so if you got an opportunity, go. So it didn't matter if it was horror or if it was... I, I auditioned for Les Miserables, you know, the Broadway show. It, just anything. And we went in and... I, I I remember that audition specifically. Um, I I just I had to act completely terrified, and for whatever reason that day I, I pulled it off. You know, I in the audition went and huddled in a corner screaming. You know, uh, I, I can't even remember if, if who actually was in the room. I think there was five people, but it, it worked, and so I got the gig. Um, but it wasn't specifically going after the horror genre. It was just another you know audition in the the hundreds that we would do in a month um and that one worked you know there's a lot that didn't you know there's a lot that you go out and one thing you got to get used to in in this business is no you know because you hear a lot so you yeah know. man my daughter is into musical theater oh cool and you i told her when she first started just high school stuff i said yeah. honey you just be prepared for rejection. It you know, happens, you gotta for sure. You gotta have a thick, have a have a thick skin. Yeah, yeah. In this business, you, you definitely do. But you know, all in all, it, well worth it. Had a, a, you know, awesome time. Not only in this movie, but coming here and uh, you know, meeting all these folks at this awesome convention and and you know, many more to come. So we'll see. Very cool. So one last question. Sure. What do you uh, What do you got going on these days? Any new projects that you're working on? That there's you can nothing share really. With us? Yeah. There's nothing you know right now that uh, is in in the works. But uh, you know we'll see. 2000. You know 25. Uh, watch out. Here we come. <laughs> so. Awesome. Cool. Chance, Absolute thank you so much man. for a few minutes of your time. I cool. truly appreciate it. I'm just a fan. Thank so the you. fact that I get to sit down and spend a few minutes with people from the movies that I have loved my whole life, yeah, yeah. it really is a big thrill for me. Thank so you, thank brother. You. Appreciate you. All right. Bye -bye. Chance Michael Corbett, everybody here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival. I'm the Todd, I am Todd Sturridge, the horror nerd, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview.